Welcome. And for now, it's a Q bar King Kong uh, Mini 2. And today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now you can see right now that the device is locked based on the tiny little lock in a corner. And I'll quickly also connect to Wi Fi. There we go. So you do also want to connect to Wi Fi. I'm just doing it right now. Uh, going further to, with the setup just so we can see that the device is locked. Ah, there we go, finally. Okay, so as you can see, we have, uh, or we had a pen set on here, so now we need to verify it using pen or using the Google account. Now that took a little bit of time to actually show you. So now jumping out to the actual bypass, we're going to back out to the first page right here. And you want to select any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So, oops. See, hmm. I'm just going to scroll all the way down. And basically any language from around somewhere like the Cyrillic ones, Russians and Greek, or actually Greek, Greek might be the first one. Anything downwards should work just fine. So simply select whichever one you want. And then you can progress through the setup to back to the Google verification page. Now if you're not sure what to press, just follow the same thing that I'm pressing. So. From here, from the Google verification page, you want to tap on the field. And once it brings up a keyboard, you will see that there is now a little globe icon. So you want to hold that icon. This will bring up these uh, well, two languages or two keyboards that we can choose from. From So we have the QWERTY and the Greek one. Uh, so what you want to do is number one, switch to QWERTY. As you can see, it changes the keyboard. Then do it again, hold the globe and go to language settings, which is this text below that. You want to select Add Keyboard, which is the blue button right here. And choose a keyboard without an arrow. So something like the first one, uh, these two, or some couple ones below. It doesn't matter which one you select. Just choose one and then select Add. Again, blue button. And as you can see, we now have three different keyboards. So from here, we're going to back out again to the first page. And change our language back to English. And again, progress to the setup back to the Google verification page. Again, tap on a field and again, hold the globe icon and select language settings, add a keyboard. And this time around, you want to add a keyboard with an arrow. So there we go. There is one. And once you're in it, tap on these three dots. Go to help and feedback and then and describe your issue you will type in two letters m o and this will bring up a thing that we're looking as I suggested so use morse code as the option that we're looking for once you see it you want to click on it then click on a video give it a second and it will load it up and as you can see we have three dots right in the corner you want to click on those and select watch later which will open up our web browser Select accept and continue and no thanks. And then in the search bar, you're going to type hard reset that info. Hopefully, I read it, wrote it correctly. No, I didn't. Now we go. Hard reset that info. So let's go. Once you load the site, you want to tap on those three bars right here. After you select consent. There we go. So again, three dots or eight bars. Select the download category. And then in the search bar, you're going to search for Android 7.1.2. There we 
we go. And there is only one application as you can see, FRP Bypass Android 712 slash 10. So you want to click on download, scroll down, again select download, OK. And this will start downloading it, obviously. Once it's finished, you want to select open. There we go. And before we can actually install it, we'll need to navigate to settings. Then we're going to select allow from this source, meaning Chrome, and we're going to go back and select install. Select continue and let's see open. Does it do anything? Nope. OK, so I'm going to back out and we're going to tap right at the top. And you want to now navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. So I'm going to just copy this so it's easier for me. I'm going to then paste it and remove what I don't need. As you can see, we have hardreset.info slash and all I need to do is add bypass. There we go. And from here, you want to scroll down and tap on the settings application right here. And this will open up your settings. So in here, we're going to navigate down to security. And then we're going to scroll down and select device admin apps. And we should be well, normally this should be deactivated, but or activated, but it is deactivated, so I don't need to do anything. I don't know why, but I guess that works out. Anyway, for you, if this is enabled, this checkbox, you want to turn it off. Uh, but like I said, for me, it is already turned off, so I don't need to. So anyway, once you deactivate device admin or find my device, you want to go back to the main settings page. There we go. And now we're going to navigate to apps and notifications and you want to select see all 36 apps tap on the three dots and then select show system and from here we're going to be looking for let me quickly check google play services so there we go there is google play services click on it and then select Disable, disable app, and from here, I'm gonna go back to settings, scroll down to accounts, and then we're gonna add an account, and you're gonna select Google. And in here, simply log in with your Google account that you want to use. If you don't have one, you can always create it. It's completely up to you which, uh, what kind of Google account you will use or create. Uh, but basically, log in with an existing account. So I'll use my own. There we go. And obviously, now I'll put in passwords. I'm going to do that off the screen. Okay. Oh, that wasn't correct. Let me try that again. Oh, come on. All right, someone changed this account uh, password, so I'm going to use a different account. Uh, but this time around, uh, see, I'm going to try to hide it because I just don't want to show this one. Okay, I'm also going to verify it on my phone. Yes, that's me. So I have a two-phase authentication, that's why I needed to verify it. And from here, as you can see, we are on the next page. I'm going to select Agree. And let me just quickly hide it. So there we go. Uh, basically, I'm trying to hide my actual email address because uh, my work one, someone changed the password, so I can't use that one. So yeah, I basically use a personal one. That's why I'm hiding that. I mean for obvious reasons. So anyway, from here, uh, once we have added our account, 
we are now going to go back to apps and notifications right over here and we're going to navigate to again see all apps then show system and we're going to re-enable the google play services there we go and select enable and there we go so play services is now enabled and let me just quickly make sure yep so once this is enabled simply hold the power key and select restart now one thing that will happen right now once we are back in the setup screen is throughout the setup uh, once you get to the verification page instead of uh, the phone telling you to verify either the pin or the google account it will now give you a simple information account added and provide you with the actual account that you have added uh, right before we you know, enable the google play services now again i will try to cover that up for obvious reasons uh, but you will still be able to see the message so anyway and now kind of skip through it i'm gonna move my the phone a little bit lower all i'm doing is basically progressing through this as you can see right now it's looking for updates Still looking for them so I assume this page will or this step will take as long as it did before uh, so let's just wait for this to finish up yep there we go so we're now on a, a next page as you can see so I'm gonna select the copy and there we go so they can get it covered so you can see right now it says account added and under my finger is the account that i have added that's why i'm covering up like i mentioned so all i need to do now is go to the next page and i believe that should be it at least for the account visibility oh god damn it no it's right here so hopefully someone will cover it up And obviously all we need to do now is finish up the setup so right here just skip this skip anyway disregard this popping up right here uh, it's regarding the app that allowed us to actually add google account so it completely does not matter anymore we have added the google account and uh, it will keep crashing but it doesn't matter at all no, I think I just pressed something when that popped up. Let's see. Can skip this. Anything else? No thanks. Let's accept and continue. And from here, once you have access to your home screen, what you want to do is simply navigate to your settings. Scroll scroll down to system advanced reset options and quickly make sure and there is uh, another email so I'm again going to cover it up so right here you get this pop-up uh, erase all data simply confirm by tapping erase all data let me just make sure again yep there we go so it's fine uh, and he and here select again erase all data and this will begin the factory reset of the device now the reason you want to do this is because the device is still technically locked it still has the account that was previously blocking us and as you can see also google play service is kind of glitching out up here uh, having a little spastic attack but that's okay once you perform a factory reset through settings this will remove basically everything that was blocking us because factory reset done through settings completely gets rid of literally everything that will include things like well that was loud uh, it will get rid of things like the pins uh, google accounts and so on so stop it there we go so 
By basically completing this, you will fully unlock the device once you press this button. Now, I'm not doing this right now just because it provides you with no additional information. It will just waste your time. It is a factory reset of this phone, which takes about like five minutes or so. And then it's just another setup. But that setup can be done in whichever way you want to. So, yeah. So that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.